we've got a mom. Here's the income. 2200 a month. Look at this. Expenses. 2700 I think her debt is like 10k plus. I didn't write it. Oh no, never mind. I did write it. <clears throat> this lady got whew, eighty thousand in student loans. Ridiculous. Eighty thousand in student loans and a ten thousand five hundred dollar car. So. 90500 I don't think she's paying anything on the student loans. Those might be in deferment. Cash flow, negative. This is sad. Okay? But this is real. Um, let's see. <clears throat> And um, I made her my client. I was like, look, I'm not going to charge you nothing. I just need you to do what I say. If you do what I say, then I'll continue to work with you. If you don't do what I say, then you're not committed. Then, then what, what this means is that you're comfortable with this life. <laughs> There's a lot of people who are comfortable being broke. It's the weirdest thing. It's the weirdest thing. Some people are just comfortable being broke and then they'll complain when they see rich people all day long around them, people doing better than them. You get comfortable complaining, which goes back to my point that you guys are getting comfortable sitting on the couch, coming home from work, worrying about yourself, watching the world fall apart. So today I'm really talking to you guys. We're doing a lot more than finances because how you do one thing is how you do everything when it comes to your life. Okay, if you are operating improperly when it comes to your finances, guess what? Your marriage might be improper. Your children might not treat you right. Your job may not treat you right. Your attitude, how you wake up in the morning, how you exercise, how you eat, Everything gets messed up because how you do one thing is how you do everything, okay? So here we have a mom. Her goal, we were trying to define her purpose, and it was taking a while, right, because she didn't know. But she knew that she, want, she knows she wants to be a life coach. So I'm like, all right, how the heck do we become a life coach? But not only does she want to become a life coach, she wants to really spend most of her time mentoring young girls, like high school, yeah, middle school to high school girls. <clears throat> so middle school... high school girls now obviously the banking ain't gonna work I don't know what to tell you her credit sucks right uh, finances are bad there's only so much I can cut back the only thing I found was hey get rid of cable if you have any subscriptions get rid of it I mean what am I supposed to tell her go on uh, rice and beans and and what even that that that's, even that doesn't work. So the way she's living right now is kind of like what I was mentioning mentioning earlier is the way she spends that two thousand seven hundred and the way she gets that twenty two. It's like she'll she'll pay her rent, but she won't pay another bill. Let that go late. Then when she gets her next paycheck, she pays it back. Right? She pays it back. And then she'll be late on rent the next month to pay back this bill. And it's like this wild thing. I'm like, how is that even possible? 
don't know. But I said, listen, we need to create a 10x strategy, period. So here is the 10x strategy. I told her, look, I'm just going to give you what I've done, what I've been doing, and what you can do to make this happen. She has an iPhone 8 Plus, I believe, either an iPhone 8 or 8 Plus. It has an HD camera on that. It can record. All right. Look, this this is this is stupid, right? iPhone 8 making 2200 a month. That's the first problem I saw. But I said, "You know what? You got it. We're going to use the damn thing. This is our money making machine right here." I said, "I said, "Mom, you are sitting on a money making machine that you're not even tapping into." And I said, mom, do you have a laptop? She said, yeah. So we have a computer. This is also a money-making machine. You are in 2019. It's going to be 2020. Okay. You got two money-making machines that you are not using. She's been working at a job for 10 years and has not gotten a raise in 10 years, has not got a raise in 10 years. I said, are you kidding me? What's going on there? That's a confidence issue right there. I spotted that out. Maybe there's some people in the room here that are working at a job for so many years and you haven't gotten a raise. What are you doing? Are you just not asking? Because you know, if all you did was ask, you'll receive. That's a principle. Ask, and what? You shall receive. Like, I'm like, mom, what, look, can we step it up? Can we wake up? Okay, world's falling apart. Wake up. Let's go. So 10 years hasn't gotten a raise. I said, mom, the next day you go into work, you are going to talk to every single manager you can possibly come across during your work hours for the next three weeks, the next three to four weeks and you are just going to talk to the managers. When you go on break, you are only going to sit with the managers or you, go, you are going to go into someone else's office and you are going to talk business. You're gonna say, listen, I've been here for 10 years. Even if they say they don't have the budget for it, that's a joke. That's a joke, come on. They've been, you've been in the company for 10 years. That's a joke. And you know what? If they're not budging, why are you not looking for another job? What's up? So, so that, there's a comfort issue here. You guys see that? We're comfortable being negative. We're comfortable at a job. We're comfortable not using our money-making machines. And we're comfortable not living out our purpose. You see all that? Okay. So I told her, we're like, look, we got to work on that. You're going to cut cable off, which is going to remove $219. Right, cut off cable. So that saves me two nineteen a month. That was like the only thing I saw, and then any like subscriptions or something like that. But coming back to this right here, I said, look, you got the laptop. All you need is to open up. Here we go. You're gonna use these two money making machines. You're going to establish a PayPal account. Patreon, GoFundMe, this is stupid right here, this is crazy, how, how this works, ready? So you make these three accounts, PayPal, Patreon, GoFundMe, and then what you're going to do is you're going to get links from these three things, right? They're going to give you links as soon as the accounts are made. Then you're going to come over here and you're going to establish social media accounts, mom. I said, do you have a Facebook? She said, yeah. Do you have Instagram? She said, yeah. Uh, you got a YouTube channel? She said, uh, no. 
but she does have a YouTube account, right? So mostly everyone has a YouTube channel. Everyone has a YouTube channel once you create an account. It's just that you don't have any activity in there. So technically you don't, right? But you got those three things. I said, oh my God, look, we got three more money-making machines. YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. I told her, pick one that you feel most comfortable with, and I believe she said Facebook, and you're gonna create a group on Facebook, and you're gonna start posting content using your money-making machine number one, iPhone 8, just like this, right? Just like this. Walk around all day long, go to work, show people your commute, tell people your value, right? All day long. And you're gonna say at the end of the video, beginning, middle, hey, if you found value in this video, I'd love for you to help me out. My goal is to become a life coach. I wanna mentor middle school to high school girls. And here is what I wanna teach them. Teach them, show them, inspire, okay? And she wants to deal with those, is with girls that are dealing with, uh, what is it? They're feeling hopeless, okay? Look at it, this is our society right now. Young girls, hopeless. And she sees this, she's done a lot of work, she's done a lot of volunteer work, but the problem is nobody knows, right? Nobody knows what she's doing. Nobody knows what she's doing. So I was like, hey, if all you did was start sharing that you've been volunteering for X amount of years and you've been helping girls at this public school or that public school, it's gonna build some instant credibility, especially if you record it, okay? And so she's dealing with middle school to high school girls that are dealing with hopelessness. They are dealing with violence. Um, let's see, peer pressure. That's probably a big one for young girls, peer pressure. You know, they get pressured into doing things that they don't wanna do. Okay, um, poor, and then let's see, eh, she wrote distractions, which is really just not knowing who you are as a young individual. That's what it kind of boils down to. And I'm like, well, how do we make, how do we bring in attention, revenue, and action to the cause at hand, to the purpose. Like, how do we do that? So it starts with using the money-making machines, right? The iPhone 8 and the laptop. With the laptop, I said, look, you can start blogging and writing. How old are you? Okay, you know how to write, okay? Start blogging and posting on the Instagram, the YouTube, and the Facebook, the LinkedIn. Start reaching out to organizations that do this, that do this, man. You know how many people need people like you to help young girls? How many young females between the ages of like 12 and 18 that are just going through it right now? Stressing out, they don't have a role model, they don't have a leader. You'd be surprised how little encouragement it takes, right, to actually, um, inspire people to, to get the results that they want. So we're not gonna be making money from the children. No, no, no. We're gonna be bringing in income and revenue from people that support what you're doing, okay? So all you gotta do is let people know what you're doing, show them what you're doing, tell them how you're gonna do it, when you're gonna do it, who you're gonna do it for, and why you do it. And you will be so surprised and you have to, you must ask for help. Not should, you must ask for help. It's the only way we're going to get out of this, this hole. This is a hole, okay? There is no magic pill when it comes to finances, velocity banking, infinite banking. It ain't going to work. 
These concepts only work with positive cash flow, period. When you're negative, you got to do some other things to position yourself for the, for the two concepts that I teach. So when you apply this, the money-making machines, you get this down, you get your message down. It doesn't take that long to get your message down. All you got to do is say it multiple times. That's all you got to do is say it over and over again. Just say it. But record yourself. Because if you don't record yourself, nobody knows. So you got to stick to it. And then you got to ask for help. But you have to make sure you give them a location to give you money. Don't do, don't do no cash stuff. No, 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 no. No Zelle. Get the hell out of here. No. You want to have something, you know, legitimate, decent looking. GoFundMe accounts, Patreon accounts, and like the PayPal, those, those look legit on the internet. Each of these take credit cards. You take a photo or two and a biography of what you're doing so people can read and then provide evidence, video content, to show them exactly what you're doing. And here's where you bring the people. Here, here is where the people are. All the people are here on social media. There's billions, billions of people here all day long logging in to different things. And for the most part, they're just watching crap. Nothing really productive. So when they come across you and they see something so productive, so valuable, how many, how many women, right? How many women that are 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 that have went through this? Peer pressure, distractions, feeling hopelessness, poor mindset, violence, you know, maybe abuse, um, you know, uh, just bad things, right? Think evil things, evil, right? And they battled through it. They got past it, but they never shared their story. But they're like, they're these just strong people, but they never share their story. And here you come along sharing your story that they can relate to and now they have found their leader right they found their leader a leader is just someone that is willing to step out in front of the crowd that's what makes you a leader automatically you're willing to step out and do what no one else is willing to do makes you a leader people follow what you would normally not do. You're like, you're scared to do it, but wow, look at that person, they're doing it. I can follow that, I can live with that, I can, you know, I can relate to that person. And that's all you have to do. So that would be my advice to this person so that we can do some velocity banking and infinite banking and get our money right. Because I'm, you know, I'm on the phone with this lady, I'm like, man, I got nothing, I got nothing. But I was like, you know what, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You got an iPhone 8? and a laptop that records and it's an HD camera and you're not using that? Listen, there's only one of you in this world. There's only one copy of you, one, one of you. So by default, this is to everyone in the world, if there's only one of you, by default, you are the most beautiful person in the world. Is that not true, mom? Oh, my mom, listening? Is this not true? If there's only one of you, by default, you are the most beautiful person. So shouldn't people know that? Shouldn't people gravitate to that and feel that and then take action where they give to you? And it's real simple. You make it real simple. Hey, I'll, you know, $10 a month, 50 bucks a month, 100 a month, right? And then the, the higher you go, right? You create $10, you can just, hey, 10 bucks a month says that you support what I'm doing, you believe in my mission, you're gonna help me get to the next stage. It's gonna help me help 
young girls that are dealing with these issues that maybe mom once dealt with when she was younger, which is probably why she wants to be a coach or a mentor. At $50, you can say, hey, I'll have a one-on-one -on -one session with you. I'll talk to your kid personally. At $100, you can say, listen, if you're in my local area, I'll meet you in person. Or um, we'll have a Skype call together or a live uh, a Facebook you know, call together. With, we'll have a family meeting. Just think of stuff that you can just do. So on her off days, I told her, I'm like, look, you, uh, you're off two days per week. That's 24 hours. You can take 12 of those hours to create 90 pieces of content in 30 days, right? And in terms of your content, all I need is what, five, five minute videos, five to seven minute videos, 60 divided by five, that's 12 pieces of content right there. 12 times three, it's 36, that's 36 pieces of content in three hours. How could you not do that, right? And you just split up everything. And I just told, listen, all you got to do is say, hi, my name is, first name, last name. Hi, my name is, first name, last name. Here's why I'm here. Here's my purpose in life. Here's where I'm going. Here's what I want to do. Over and over again. And you show them, and you walk with them, and you teach them. You just keep going and going and going. Let me read some questions here. Aaron says, preach. I agree. We have lost the ability to hand down information to other generations. Definitely disconnected. Sherry Lee says, step one, repent that it's not our money, it's God's money, and we are stewards. Get Jesus back in the equation. Step two, get out of debt, velocitize. How old is this person? Um, I think she is 40-something. She's, she's a younger, she's a young mom. I think she's 40 or 50-something. Um, income and revenue from people who support what she's doing is fabulous. Why not? It's, it's who doesn't want to give? I mean, there's so many people just sitting on cash. Like I said, people like people watching, doing nothing, sitting on the couch. And you see an opportunity to give. You're like, man, that's awesome. Wow. I'll give $100 to that. And I don't need anything. I just want to give. If it's going to help, if my 100 is going to help that lady help 10 people, get out of depression, get out of feeling hopelessness, peer pressure, um, abusive relationships, distractions, all that. I'm for it. I'm all for it. Okay, so that was one scenario down. So when it comes to velocity banking, I, I was like, my promise to you is if you're in this situation, right, and you're serious and you do what I say, I told her, listen, if you do what I say, you never have to pay me a dime. Because I would have already gotten my blessing if you t took action on what you said you were going to do, right? So I'm, I'm giving you my take, right? Doesn't cost you any money, but see, sometimes when you don't pay for things, you don't see the value, right? And that can be a danger, you know, but I'm taking a risk here. I'm saying, listen, just do this. If you do this, I will be with you. I will support you. If you set up a freaking PayPal account and a Patreon and a, uh, what was the other one? A GoFundMe, okay? And you write a biography and you tell us your why, I'll be the first to support it, okay? That's what I told her. I'm like, look, just, just do it, you know? You never know. You never know. What if, what if you got one dude, one lady that is a freaking millionaire and, and like um, she's a millionaire and her pages, um, all, all she looks for is people that are helping people, people that are dedicated to helping people, right? And, and you just so happen to pop on her time feed of like, you're this mom trying to do this work, help people out, help young girls achieve their goals at a young age and get that grounding, get those fundamentals. And that millionaire has a team. The team says, hey, uh, we found someone that's like 
really aligned with your mission, I think you should look at this. So now the millionaire, the woman, right, is looking and she's like, oh my God, what's this lady doing out in Texas or California or New York or Florida, wherever? She's like, oh my God, I got to meet this person. They do not care about your skin tone. They do not care about your age. They do not care about how you look. It's the content. It's the value, right? And now you just attracted this person, this millionaire. And as long as you have those accounts set up, all she has to do is click on the link on the video, boom, goes right to a, a landing page, whether it's GoFundMe, Patreon, PayPal. And she types in a thousand bucks, $10,000, $20,000. Who knows, right? And then you wake up one day, boom, there's a blessing. Why? Because you decided to step out, be a leader. You decided to share your purpose, share your value. And there you go. You attracted someone. It may not happen overnight, but if all you did was consistently do that over and over again, eventually you're going to start showing up on people's timelines that value that stuff, right? If you ever notice, like when you're on YouTube or you're on Facebook, if you're looking up how to get out of debt, you may not have, you may not have come across me first, but you're going to see a video and it's going to take you to recommended videos that are talking about debt. And guess who's on the recommended stuff? Me, right? And then you click on me and you're like, huh, I've, I resonate with that. Huh, wow. What if you just did the same exact thing, but in your field, in your thing that you're talking about? They may, those people that you're looking for, they may not come across you first, but you're going to be on the recommended content because there's only so many people talking about what you're talking about. Like I said, that window of opportunity of grounding knowledge and information that could be pumped into the marketplace that could really start grounding people. Okay.